Hello, my name is George Cairns, and in this video lesson, we're going to use Digital Photo Professional 4 to improve and change a shot's composition. Here's our start image with a tilted horizon, and it's got lots of shadow in the foreground we don't really need. There's a distracting shadow here as well. So we can crop to straighten the horizon, and zoom in slightly to lose those unwanted shadows and improve the photograph, or we can change the composition quite dramatically by creating a portrait shape, or you can even crop to social media proportions such as a square shape for Instagram. So we've supplied this image for you to download, it's called Crop Start. Import it to your computer, browse to it in the folder window, and then click on the thumbnail and go to View and choose Edit Image Window. And that gives you a nice clean workspace with all the tools you need at the right here to edit and process your photograph. Now here I decided to shoot this cityscape as a landscape oriented photograph and I went for a fairly wide shot as well. And what we've got here is a little bit of unnecessary shadow in the foreground. There's not much of interest in this area here. So I could have zoomed in on location to try and lose the shadow and maybe even lose the couple. I could have shot it in portrait mode and gone for a tighter shot of these buildings here. There's lots of different ways I could have composed this shot on location. I could also have got the horizon a little straighter as well, I think. So there's a few things I could have done to change my composition on location. But fortunately, we can recompose the shot in Digital Photo Professional 4, courtesy of the crop and rotate panel here. So let's click to select that. So let's kick off by improving our composition and getting rid of some of these foreground details here and zooming in on the distant buildings. We're also going to counteract the tilted horizon. And first of all, we need to think about the shape of our cropped image. And that means we have to think about the aspect ratio. And we can choose a variety of different shapes. If we choose free, you can click and drag. And that creates any orientation and any shape. So you could go for a widescreen effect such as this. Let me just click and drag that out like so. That gives you more of a panoramic style crop. You know, I can just adjust that to get a bit more sky into the image. I don't want to do that though. I'm just going to improve the composition. So I'm going to click here to undo that. I'm going to choose an aspect ratio such as three by four, for example, I can click and drag. And now that's in portrait mode. So I might want to go to four by three for a landscape shape crop. Or if I want it slightly wider, I can go to a three by two like so. And that suits the shape of my original photograph a little bit better. Now I can click and drag to include the family in the bottom corner here. And we want a little bit more of that crane in the top there because it just looks a bit odd being chopped off at the top. So this is a quick crop to get rid of some of these edge details such as this shadow here and some of the foreground shadow. And then we can fine tune the crop by dragging inside it to reposition it without changing the shape or size of the crop window. Or we can grab a corner handle here and just tighten it in a little bit more to get rid of more of the shadow. I'm just going to drag that to the left there slightly, but I don't want to lose the edge of this building. In fact, I'm going to just bring that corner handle in as well. So there's an improvement in the crop that I could have done on location. And to see the crop version, you just need to click on another panel, such as the basic panel. And there's our cropped and improved shot. But I didn't counteract the wonky horizon, did I? So I need to go back to here and it remembers the original photograph. And as I move outside the crop window, you can see that we've got these rotate icons here. So I can click and drag to rotate the crop to counteract the tilted horizon. It's good to use the edge of a vertical building or a horizontal line like here. So what I'm gonna do is go down to the show grid. I'm gonna make sure that's turned on. You can tick that on and off if it's distracting you. And I can change the grid pitch for something more dense. And that gives me more lines to align with buildings in the background. So it's not quite vertical there. So I can click and drag to try and straighten that out a little bit. Or I can use the angle line here. And as I drag, you can see there's a value in the angle window showing up like so. And I can fine tune things by clicking here as well, just to get my rotation so that the vertical lines of the NatWest tower here are running parallel with my overlay grid. So that looks pretty clear. I can turn the grid off to see the crop version like so. I'm just going to drag it to the right a little bit. So I've now got more of a balanced looking image with this object in the center. So I was using the vertical lines of the NatWest tower to get my photograph straightened, but you might want to go for the horizontal line of the horizon here. So we can turn on the show grid again and just click and drag. And you can see now the horizon on the distant shore is now running more parallel with the horizontal lines in the overlay grid. So you can choose whether to go for vertical or horizontal. It doesn't help that many of the buildings in London now have got tilted vertical lines anyway, so you might be better sticking with the horizontal background line there, like so. 
So that's an improved composition version of the image. So I'm going to click on the basic panel. And what I want to do is just go to File and Convert and Save this version before creating other compositions. So I'm going to call this one Crop Improve. So we're creating a JPEG version of my cropped RAW file, but the original RAW file will always be accessible. So let's just hit Return and save that out as the improved version, which we can share on Facebook or on social media. And once we've done that, we're going to create a different version of the photograph to go on a particular social media site, perhaps. Let's go back to Crop. And now let's change the aspect ratio to, instead of 3 by 2 let's go to 2 by 3 And that gives us a vertical shape. We could have done that by rotating the camera on location. And I can now decide whether to keep the people in the shot by trying to drag it like so. But I'm more interested actually in going closer. So we're zooming in to these buildings. And I'm just going to create a slightly offset section of the bridge there just to give it a bit more of an interesting composition. Something like that should do the trick. We've straightened it already, so if I just click back on Basics here to the Basic panel, here's my zoomed in and slightly cropped version. These are a bit distracting because they're neither in nor out the photograph really, so I'm going to fine tune it by going back to crop again, and then we can drag and include that crane like so. Click again to see the cropped version. And now I can pop up to File and go to Convert and Save, and create a file called Crop Portrait. So there's a portrait version like so. And again, we're going to go back to our RAW file, click here, and we can change the aspect ratio this time to 1 to 1, which is a square crop. And that enables us to create an image that's suitable for sharing on Instagram. So we can choose exactly the type of shot that we want to share, like so. A nice square shot with this couple in the bottom right to kind of give us a foreground interest. And then click here to see the crop version. And then I can pop back to File, Convert and Save. And this one is for Instagram. There we go, Save. And that's going to go out and I can share that file on my Instagram page. And that's the great thing about RAW. You can go back and change things at any time. You can fine tune the tilted horizon to get it perfect if you're not quite happy with it and you can clear it and start from scratch like so.